Hi Steve, as the England head coach, going into such a such an emotional game, just what does it mean to you? I think it means a lot. I think it means a lot for everybody involved in rugby league. And uh, you know, I remember being sat at home watching the, the tragic circumstances unfold, and you know, and Gary's name eventually come out, you know, as one of the people who suffered up there, and uh, you know, dreadful, absolutely dreadful. And you know, uh, it, this game is, is an important part of the England preparations, but it pales into insignificance in terms of the importance of the of the uh, paired and family and the people up in Cumbria. Yeah, definitely, we've been playing with Rob now for four years at Queen's and um, he's a very 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 good bloke you know same with his family and stuff so playing with him for so long and get a chance to play against him would be, would be a good opportunity for us so no, really looking forward to it. Yeah no oh, can't wait really to play against him you've got, you got Wixie as well and uh, uh, his mum and dad will be in the crowd with Roz and the kids so it would be nice to, to go out there and just show our respects to Gary. So. And obviously, as teammates, it must have been very hard for the club whenever the news came through. What was the response from the the Quins, the Quins family? I think I think it was it was really positive. I think uh, it was such a it was such a shock for for all of us. I think we just couldn't believe it. I think I don't I don't even think uh, Purdom himself could believe it. I think it was it's just one of them crazy incidents. You know what I mean? That that, that happened and it just sh it shocked us really. It did shock us. But um, like uh, we got such a good team spirit down down in the south. I think. Uh, I think Perdo wanted us to carry on, which we did the next game yeah, for him. Yeah. Well, Perdo sent a text down to us saying, like, I want you to carry on and carry on training. Like, we carried on training that day and the next day. As is our coach was going to say, I'll give you the day off. But Rob actually texted in saying, I want you to train. So, so no, it was nice of him. It was nice. And uh, obviously, Gary's brother, Rob, is well known throughout mm -hmm. all the rugby league circles. You know, how did you feel yourself when have you heard the news come through? Oh, terrible. I mean, I... I knew Rob from the 2008 World Cup when he was, he was one of the players there and, was, and I was assistant coach and he's a smashing young man, I don't know anybody who's got a bad word for either him or, or anybody in his family there so I think everybody involved who knew Rob you know, uh, was really sad you know, uh, for that but then when you see you know, what Gary's left behind in terms of his wife and his family and everything else it really hits home. And uh, obviously, like you said, Gary's left a, a young family behind him. The Rugby League board came together in unison uh, to help them and support them. How important do you think that was? Well, obviously, very important. You know, I think, um, obviously, you know, with the tragic circumstances, it was really unexpected. Um, you, know, the, the, you know, they were a working class uh, group of people up in Cumbria. And any sort of financial support and, and emotional support we can provide, uh, we're more than willing to do. And... Uh, and I've just brought to the players, uh, this is our first warm-up session, uh, our first fallout session today uh, as part of the England group. They're all really keen and in, intent on going up there, uh, playing a good game, but doing all the right things for the family there as well. So we'll be, we'll be doing plenty of work there to try and encourage as many people as we can to get there and, and raise as much money as we possibly can. And obviously Rob took a, a bit of absence himself from the game. Was that a loss for you or were you more determined you know, to, to go on and play well in his absence? Oh no, definitely more, deter more determined to do well for Rob, do well for his family and stuff. So no, we were more determined to, to get on and beat whoever I can't think we were playing. But no, it were, it were a big game for us too, so it were all for Rob. So Yeah, I know, it was, it was just one of them things I think... Uh... Uh, we, we we had to get on to it. We had to get on on with it for for him for him. If you know what I mean. We had to we had to show that we were strong for him and everything. So I think yeah, I think he appreciated that and it was such, yeah, such a shock. Like I said, it was just one of them things. And how important do you think it is for the Purdom family themselves that to have such a big game happening in Cumbria in, in their home area? Oh, I think it's massive for them. I think what rugby league have done for Ros and the kids are outstanding. You know, like the whole not the whole of Cumbria, the whole of England and the whole of rugby league have come together for Roz, Pardo and the family so it's it's great for them, absolutely outstanding so I think the game would be a big uh, a big thing as well to go out to Cumbria uh, England v Cumbria it's always going to be a good match a couple of boys from the Queen's playing like Ollie Wilkes uh, and Purdom himself so uh, so we, as me and him can't wait to play them because uh, they're such good teammates uh, It'll be, be an emotional day, but it'll be, uh, it'll be uh, one, one to watch as well. And uh, the Cumbrian guys are obviously going to be very fired up for this game. They're going to want to come out there and, and smash you guys, you know, uh, into bits. Uh, you're expecting a really tough contest? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I actually spoke to Perlo before he left, and he, he said that he was going to literally rip his heads off. So yeah. <laughs> that's coming from their captain. So I can imagine what the rest of the boys are going to be like. So Yeah, no, like he said, Perlo per did say he's going to rip his heads off. And I think... Uh, Ollie Wilkes will be telling a couple of jokes, I think, in the scrum, which would be nice. I think he, his favourite one's knock knock yeah, it at the moment. So, yeah, knock -knock joke, man. so he does like them at the moment. And uh, finally, guys, this obviously represents a chance for yourselves to maybe uh, 
depends on your name under the Four Nations squad. That's something you're looking forward to as well? Yeah, I think so. I think, uh, I think me and him, hopefully this year, we, we can be knocking on that door quite loud and hopefully kick it through and hopefully get on the plane and be over there. It'd be great for London to have two London kids going over there, so it would yeah. be nice. Yeah, definitely. We've, we've been here. This is our third trip up here we've been and um, for the last three years, sorry, and it's, we haven't got there, but this year we're hoping to maybe go out to Australia, New Zealand and play well for England. So. And uh, Rob's obviously captain in the Cumbria team. Uh, they're going to come out determined to put in a good performance. They're going to be full of fire in the belly. Yeah, and so they should be as well. And, uh, you know, we'll have to meet that. And I think out of respect, we need to do that. We need to perform very well and come out aggressive ourselves and, <clears throat> and put on a, a sort of performance that I'm sure Gary would be proud of. And uh, just uh, finally, you're going to have a few guys uh, in, in the squad for the Cumbria game that are going to maybe have an outside chance of making it to the Four Nations. you expect your lads to go out there with a the, with the bit between their teeth as oh, well? More than a few. There's no two ways about it. The grand final is Saturday. This game Sunday. We'll sit down overnight Sunday night and find lads of squad to, to go away. So there's plenty to play for. Don't worry about that. There's uh, a whole lot of places to play for and uh, the players are fully aware of that.